Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Roxcan here, back again with a new video, and as you can already see from the title, I'm going to keep the shot, I'm going to rank all the MXPP maps, because I thought, why not, it might be fun. So the first thing is, obviously, uh, there's not really an, any order to maps, they're just going to be randomly picked, so yeah. And the second thing is, this is my opinion about the maps, if you have a different opinion about the other map, for example, then let me know in the comments. But yeah, this is long enough of the intro, let's get straight into the video. Alright, let's get straight out with the first map, and it's obviously Aim City. And honestly, for being probably the most played map in all of Aim Blocks, like I see Aim City at least like at least like five times in every lobby I am. And to be honest, for that, it's actually a pretty good map. I actually quite enjoy Aim City myself. It has a nice balance of spawns and especially because of verticality. And it actually flows pretty well. The only thing that is a bit annoying for me is when people like care, like when there's this awkward situation where both of the teams stand like at the edge of the map and just try to kill each other from the side. That's a bit annoying, but honestly, other than that, I would give Aim City a solid A tier. All right, straight in the second map, and the second map obviously is Airship. And if I'm being honest myself, I love Airship. It's probably my second favorite map. The fo my favorite map is further than this, so be sure to watch till the end. Anyways, I think it's pretty balanced myself. I love it. It's a perfectly symmetrical map. It has symmetrical spawns, symmetrical design. It's just perfect. You can, if you want to play close range, you can play in the like docks down there and just have close range fight, which is nice. Or you can do the rogues, aka me, and just sit on top of the and like on top of the little thing up there and just camp your ass and just spawn trap everyone until you win. And I'm, I know it's it's my honest opinion, but honestly, S tier map for me. Oh dear god, Atmos. Well, I think everyone knows how I feel about this map. If you already watched any of my videos, no. Atmos is a terrible map, on my opinion. It has extremely bad repetitive spawns. It's extremely clouded, especially with all the trees. The visibility is bad. And honestly, most of the fights always take, either they take place in the, your spawn, the enemy spawn, or yeah, these are basically the only two things that are very fair spawns. Like honestly, bad visibility, bad spawns just makes this for me an absolute D tier map. It's garbage. Well, Honestly, it's just Atmos without the trees. It's maybe slightly better than the default Atmos. I mean, well, yes, it is better than the default Atmos, but still not good. I would rank it above Atmos, but still below every other map, honestly. All right, next one we have Bastion, and honestly, Bastion is a pretty all right map, I would say. It's a bit better than Atmos, and def I mean, it's definitely better than Atmos, and honestly, but the only thing that quite kind of annoys me of, of this map is that all you ever do on this map, like at least I do, is I camp on that roof because you can basically spot, you have three spawns, you have that spawn by the trees, the spawn behind that more trees, and the spawn behind the other trees, but basically you have you can see pretty much every spawn there, and you just came up there. So I would give Bastion honestly a C. All right, next one we have Duckshire, and honestly, Duckshire is a pretty nice map. It has a good mix of like close quarter combat in the buildings, and a decent mix of long range combat on the streets. And obviously, there's also the like the buildings on the right side where you can go up to and just like kind of spawn trap everyone on that waterfall and that one thing and on the street back. It is a pretty good map. I quite like it myself. I just like to camp on the little buildings because it's the best way to spawn trap people and get the most kills in the fastest amount of time. But also sometimes you have to drop down and kill them in the windows. But honestly, it's a pretty alright map. I give it a solid B tier. All right, the next one we have Eden, which is probably one of my favorite maps. And honestly, the second best close quarter map you can get. It has around four spawns. It has a good flow. And honestly, if you have a shotgun on this map, you're just gonna destroy people. Or you can do the rogues, aka me, and just like punch boost up on the on like the roofs and just spawn camp that particular spawn over and over again till the spawn switches. But yeah, honestly, Eden is a really fun map. A tier for sure. All right, and the next map is Morris. And honestly, I would qualify Morris around the same level as Bastion. It's an all right map, but honestly, it doesn't flow very well. It's quite slow paced. It's, in my opinion, it's too big and the spawns are kind of weird. And obviously, then there we have this fog. Yes, it has been reducing quite a few updates, but honestly, I still think it's too big. And honestly, just the spawns overall make this map feel really clunky, in my opinion. So yeah, it's around the same as Bastion. It's a CT for me. 
And now we have Nightlife. And honestly, Nightlife is definitely my fourth favorite map in Aimblock. So I can just tell you that much. Because honestly, it's the best close quarter map. The most close quarter map. And obviously the best one. The flow of this map is very well. It has a few, only a few spawns. They're very close together. And it just flows really well. I also love the aesthetic of the map of like being in like a Tokyo city with skyscrapers and everything. It's nice. It's close quarters map. Shotguns absolutely dominate, but also the Uzi also strong. And you can have some fun with the exploding pumpkins too. Or any explosive to be honest. And honestly, as long as you like stay up there where I am right now, you're gonna have a very fun time on this map. It's definitely gonna be an S tier for me. All right, and next one we have Oasis, and Oasis for me is like a combination of Dark Giant, Bastion, Pact, and actually made into a good map. You have enough close quarters combat in the, like, that little city area to make it where shotguns and SMGs are available, but also a, enough long range on like the outskirts of the map where you can use snipers and ARs to a really good effective state. The aesthetic is all right on the map, the flows are good, the spawns are decent. I think they just to be a little tuned because like there's a few spawns that are kind of weird, but honestly, other than that, if you see it, pick it. It's a very solid map. For me, it's definitely an A tier. All right, and now we definitely go to my favorite map of all of aim blocks, and it will probably be for a while unless we release a new map with it. Who knows? But yeah, Osaka is definitely more of a long range based map, especially with like that big area on it with just the trees. But yeah, but honestly, still. In the city area, you still have enough range, coming, like close quarter ground coming to make it work. But honestly, it also flows nice. It has a nice aesthetic. There's enough high ground with the trees and also definitely with the buildings. So yeah, if you see it, juice it. It's definitely an S tier for me. All right, next up we have Resurf. And honestly, Resurf is a very interesting map. I would say it's mostly closed range, but there is some potential for long range fighting. And it's also is quite fun when you like flank in front of the building behind the waterfall and everyone's just standing there like a sitting duck. This can be quite fun, but I genuinely consider it it's a quite close range map. If you have a shotgun or an Uzi, you're gonna have a good time. And yeah, it's the spawns all right. The flow is decent on this map. I honestly just would give it a beat here. All right, and like I said in the in the previous map, Sansibar literally, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but honestly, I can't be the only one, right, guys? This map literally feeds like Resurf, just a bit different. But honestly, what I would say for the map is it's also one of my favorites again. I quite like the map. The spawns are pretty good. The flow is also pretty good, especially when everyone like meets where that where that little lake goes. It's just perfect for me. I quite like it. Good long range capabilities. You also have decent amount of short like short qcb but honestly what i would suggest is you mostly want to use an ar on this map but other than that it's pretty solid map i'll give it a a tier all right and at last we have the new map union world that got added with the upper gathered and honestly i would say it's probably the second worst map in the game it's just way too big yeah even though you seem to have a little speed boost on this map it just doesn't really flow well i don't know quite what they thought about in this i mean i cannot get the appeal of a bigger map but it's just not very fitting with the aim block style i guess the best thing for this map would be style bus but honestly most people just still run in like the middle and just attack so yeah if i wouldn't just both it even though it's just new it's kind of bad so yeah it's honestly just a d tier all right guys this is it with today's video i hope you guys all enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave a like comment and obviously subscribe in the road to 1.5 you're already 1.3 so thank you very much and i hope you guys have a nice day i'm going to be and we'll see you guys for the next one ciao ciao